Welcome to Survivor Games Office Edition. <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> All right, I think we're safe now. So, the first game for this week is Rock transport. So the, what we're going to do is we're going to take five rocks from one yellow square around a cone to another yellow square. We're going to do it in the safety of the gym though. Okay, so the slowest person to finish this race will be out of the survivor game. So let's see who moves on to the next game and who does not. That game was brutal. So, unfortunately, I was the slowest one, so I will not move on in the Survivor Games. But next time, Pastor Brett, Adam, and Jared will go head to head in the Hula Toss. So stay tuned next week for the next video on who becomes Survivor. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed those Survivor Games. Continue to tune in every single Wednesday night as we find out who is the ultimate survivor here in the office doing these Survivor Games. Right now, we need to dive into our book. If you have a book that looks like this, we're going to be on page 28 and 29 tonight as we continue to look at what is the gospel. If you do not have a book, that is fine. Continue to watch this video because we're going to talk about two words today that you may have heard before, but you may not know what they mean. Those two words are repentance and faith. So you may have heard those words before, but you may not know exactly what those words mean. So tonight, we're going to talk about what is repentance and what is faith. And those two words have to deal with the gospel because repentance is turning away from your sin. So if you believe in Jesus, if you believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose from the grave, and you believe that is Jesus' life, death, and resurrection that saves you from your sin, then you repent. You turn away from that sin. You no longer live for yourself. And believing in Jesus takes faith. And faith, according to Hebrews 11.1, 1, is believing or trusting or hoping in something that you cannot see. So we're going to dive into that and talk about those two things. And first up is repentance. Repentance is turning away from sin. So it's literally like making a U-turn. Like you're headed in one direction of your life where you do what you want to do, no matter what God wants, where you do what you want think feels good, no matter if it brings glory to God or not. And then when Jesus saves you and you believe in him and you trust in him, then you turn from what you want to do and everything in your life that you're trying to do that just makes you feel good. You turn away from that and instead you turn towards Jesus and his plan and what he wants to do. So you turn from sinful stuff and selfish stuff. You turn away from that and you turn towards what brings glory to God. So repentance, literally, for, for real for real, is, is making a U-turn, turning away from your old life and your old self and turning towards Jesus. So sometimes when we talk about believing in Jesus, sometimes when we talk about Jesus died on the cross and he rose from the dead and everyone who believes in Jesus has life together with him forever. Sometimes we forget to talk about repentance. So repentance is that changed life, that when Jesus saves you from your sin, you're not the same person anymore. A huge part of following Jesus is repentance, turning away from self and turning towards Jesus. So we cannot forget that. It's not just about being saved from your sin and then you do whatever you want. 
It's not just about that. The gospel changes every single day of our lives. It changes who we are, and that is repentance. And that is turning away from sin and turning towards Jesus. And we do that because of our faith in Jesus. So faith is this. It is believing and trusting and hoping in something you cannot see. So faith is trusting that everything that God has said about himself in the Bible is true. It's trusting that even though you can't see it. It's kind of like wind. We know that the wind is there not because we can see the wind, but because we can see what the wind does. The wind moves through the leaves on a tree, and we can see those leaves moving, and we know that the leaves are moving because of the wind. So we know that the wind is there not because we can see it, but because we see what it does. And faith is like that. We have faith in God, not because we can see God, but because we know he's moving in our lives. We know that he created all things. We have faith in God, not because we can see him standing in front of us, but because we see what he does in, the, in our lives, in the lives of others, and in creation. God created all things, and all that creation brings glory to God. And so we have faith in who God says that he is in his word. And we have faith and we trust that God is there with us even though we cannot see him. So faith is believing and trusting and hoping in what we cannot see. So two words today that we're learning is this. Repentance, U-turn, turning away from our sin, turning towards Jesus. And that is huge when it comes to following Jesus. So what does it mean to follow somebody? It means do what they did. So if I say, follow me, and you say, okay, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow you, Miss Amy. If I say, follow me, what are you going to do? Everything I do. So you put your hand on your like this, right? Put your hand on your shoulders. Cover your eyes like this. Now uncover your eyes. If you did what I just did, then you followed me. And Jesus says, Follow me. So repentance is turning away from yourself and following Jesus and do what he did. How do we know what Jesus did? The Bible. The Bible tells us what Jesus did. And so Jesus says, follow me. And we do that by faith. Faith is believing and trusting in something that you cannot see. That is talked about in your book. So if you have a book, I want to encourage you tonight to do page 28 and 29. Go ahead and do both those pages if you have time to do that because we literally, for real, for real, just talked about repentance and faith. So you might want to go ahead and do both these pages or at least read them. If you don't have time to do both the activities, at least read these two pages so that it has it in your mind what repentance and faith are. Are. So, next week, because our older kids, our 3rd through 6th grade, have day camp, we're not going to have a Wednesday night video for next week. So, if you are not able to come to day camp, I want you to watch videos on our YouTube channel that you have not finished yet. So, there's tons of stuff on our YouTube channel under Family and Kids Bible Studies. If you are a little bit behind, take next Wednesday night and catch up on the Bible studies in our playlist on our YouTube channel. I highly encourage you to do that. So tonight, repentance and faith. They are huge, very important things when it comes to following Jesus, being forgiven of your sin, and being connected together with God. Let me pray over that, and then I will see you guys later. Right? Hands like this. Put them in your lap like this. Close your eyes. It helps you focus. Let's pray. God, I thank you so much for showing us in your word what you're like. God, help us to have faith in that. When it's hard to, to trust that you're there, God, when it's hard because we cannot see you, we cannot hear you, when it's hard to know that you are with us, help us to have faith that you are there. Help us to trust your word, God, that says you are always with us. God, help us in our repentance. Help us to understand what repentance means. That it is turning away from everything that we want that satisfies ourselves, but instead 
turning towards Jesus and what he wants for his glory. Help us to understand what that means. God, as we study this book and we study your word, give us uh, a fire in our hearts. Push us, move us to want to know more about you, God. It's in Jesus' name. Amen.